Today I'll be using the term in a manly way. Today, uh, we're back on the ratty rod. Uh, ordered a fender. The owner liked the fender that was on there, so this fender is pretty much identical uh, to the one that came off of there. Uh, it's sitting on a piece of rubber air hose, old rubber air hose, with a 2x4 stuck in the back to kind of get the angles where I think they need to be. I've been futzing with this thing, looking at it, and just wiggling it around. Uh, I think that's where it's going to end up. A little earlier today, I made this bracket. And uh, th this kind of stuff gets made out in the uh, dirty shop. And, uh, you know, it's been like 109 degrees down here for a month, so... Uh, the dirty shop is not air conditioned. The shop where the bike is, is air conditioned. So uh, uh, a lot easier working in here than out there. And uh, I ain't making videos out in the dirty shop. It, it's just too hot and too much sweat. So uh, anyway, uh, the, the fender is just balanced here. Uh, if I bump the bike, it'll fall off. Uh, nothing is screwed on. Uh, nothing is welded, nothing is clamped. It's just sitting there. So uh, I want to uh, uh, tack weld that bracket right there, and then we can move on to uh, fitting the sissy bar. So uh, let's get a tack weld on there. One little tack is in position. All right, my experience with fenders is that they are not very precisely made. And that, the, for example, the skirts, they might be different from one side to the other by, you know, a half inch, uh, a quarter inch, uh, by quite a bit sometimes. So try to find the center of this curve. I mean, there's no areas to measure off of. So I put a mark right here, which is where the bolt holes will be for the bracket that I just tack welded on there. So what I'm going to do is just measure across at that mark from one skirt to the other skirt. And it is 14 and a half. So that means the middle of this fender should be at seven and a quarter. So we'll put a mark on the fender at seven and a quarter. Okay, so let's figure out where the center of this bracket is that I just bolted on. Uh, I made it three inches from, you know, the end of one ear to the end of the other, so the middle, of course, is one and a half. So we'll put a mark at one and a half inches. And then we'll slide the fender back down into its resting position. Okay, that actually does not look too bad. So, I think I'm going to drill two holes. And put a couple bolts in there just to hang on to this thing uh, while we're lining up the sissy bar. Why don't you start drilling holes? We're sort of beyond the point of no return. Just sitting there 
couple of bolts just stuck in the holes. Plenty of room to manipulate it. Uh, sissy bars next. Here's kind of where my fender's going to be, okay? And the sissy bar, the center post over here, is too short. No, it's too long. And the mounting holes don't reach the tab on frame. So, what to do about that? Here's problem number two. The fender is seven inches wide. Between here and here is probably nine inches. So this has got to be bent closer together so that these two tabs could meet the uh, meet up with the fender without a big gap in between them. The other problem is, and we'll do some measurements later on, this distance is narrower than this distance. So the bends coming out of here are not the same. So, how to address all of this? Alright, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to cut these tabs off, weld another tab on up here, and it's going to have two bolt holes, one on each side. I'm going to cut this ear off over here. I'm going to get some flat stock, weld it on, and extend this thing about an inch, inch and a half, and I'm going to blend it into the round bar. I'm going to take this thing, I'm going to heat it up as needed, bend these around as needed, get these two tabs to be seven and a half inches apart, get these two sides to be parallel with one another, and uh, yeah, in about uh, four or five hours should have it sorted out. That's the plan anyway. Had a little situation developed that I took care of off camera. There were a couple cracks, one on each side down in here, and uh, you know, I knew I was going to have to address it sooner or later. And I thought, well, I'm getting ready to work on this thing. Let's weld those up real quick and uh, take care of it. I figured that I could just extend the electrode uh, on the TIG and get down in there. Wrong. Uh, this thing had been chrome, and somebody had brazed this on. So there was steel, chrome, and brass all down in there. I tried filing it out. I tried grinding it out. It, it, it went well. The, the, torch would hit it, it would just explode. So what I thought was going to be like a 30 second well job ended up being a pain in the balls. I ended up cutting this off completely, grinding all the shit off of the sissy bar side of it, taking the little spiral finial here uh, out to the bench grinder and grinding all the chrome off the end of this, uh, welded this all together, just welded the top of this, just fused the two or three layers together and fused it all together. Uh, and then I was able to weld this back to this. What a pain in the balls. But anyway, it's done. Uh, sorry to have done it off camera. I didn't think it was going to be a big deal. But hey, you never know. Uh, anyway, these are going away, so let's get rid of them. These are going away. I'm thinking about taking these out to the bandsaw. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Back in a minute. Alright, so let's figure out how to bend the sissy bar and get it the size it needs to be. We'll just call this the center. Right down the middle of this slot. And we need a line seven inches either side of that. No, three and a half inches either side of that. Three and a half inches either side of that will be seven inches and that is how wide the fender is. Alright, should be simple enough. We'll heat these up up here and bend the struts in until 
they're centered over here. You know, the center line is lined up, and until the straight part over here is even with these lines. Should be a piece of cake, huh? Okay, you ready? Yeah. Hold it. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay. Okay, everything is uh, cooled off. Let's see how we made out. I think that's going to work. Yeah, that's just about perfect. Let's weld some tabs on the end, and uh, we'll do that next.
here's the first uh, test fitting of the re well maybe not the first uh, maybe the first the first test fitting of the rebent sissy bar on the uh, fender this area down in here where the cutout is for the chain I think I'm going to put a little arc on that the sissy bar is dead nuts straight up the middle of the uh, frame backbone happy with that tire looks like it could go over to the left a little bit and maybe I'll uh, I got another wheel for it so I'm not worried about that right now if I gotta offset the spokes a little bit to get the tire centered up better I will when the time comes alright we got the final welding on the sissy bar here that's done well today is tomorrow uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna pick up where I left off yesterday uh, got your fender right here uh, two mounting holes where it attaches to the frame one mounting hole where it attaches to the sissy bar and I've stated in my other videos that I always like doublers uh, on fenders especially in areas where they attach to the motorcycle and this this is a cut out of the old fender uh, take a minute over here I sanded the paint off because this is going to be between layers and I wanted to get the paint off anyway sanded the paint off with the big Nikita uh, and, and take a look at these colors cool huh uh, anyway, uh, this is shaped so that I could pick up the two screws on each side where the sissy bar attaches. The screw on the top over here where the sissy bar attaches there. The two mounting holes up here where it attaches to the frame. Uh, this needs trimmed up a little bit. Uh, I think I'm going to cut off this kind of superfluous area down here that doesn't do anything. I'm going to trim a little bit of this off. I'm going to trim a little bit off on this side. Okay, these are where the two uh, screws that attach to the frame uh, go in. And I think I'm going to chop this off right about here. Yeah, I start the day off. The workbench is nice and clear. <laughs> By the end of the day, the workbench is 
piled up with tools, shards of metal, drillings, <coughs> grinding dust. <coughs> Yeah, that'll work. Let's see how it fits. Here's where I landed on the holes. This hole was actually over here. I had to move it over a little bit. But this hole was already there and it lines up with the uh, sissy bar center mounting point. These two holes are already there because this is the old piece, you know. So we're just going to make them a quarter inch and spot weld them in. This hole is already here, so we're just going to spot weld that in there. We'll drill this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. These two holes are already here, so we'll take them out to a quarter inch and uh, uh, spot weld them in there. We'll drill this one and this one. This hole was already here, and it just about lines up with the bracket that I welded to the frame. So we're going to move it over however it needs to be moved over to get it to line up. And this will be a bolt hole with the nut welded to it. This will have a nut welded to it. And then there's going to end up being another one of these uh, fender mounting holes, probably about here. So uh, we're going to drill these and start welding it. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Man, you'd think with all the noise and the sparks, he'd take off and stay gone. Guess he likes it here. Alright, here's the uh, inside of the fender. I like to think it's ready to go. Uh, all the holes are drilled where the spot walls are going to go. Uh, it's been degreased, it's been deburred. Uh, I got my uh, flange nuts in place to weld onto the mounting screws, so uh, let's weld it up.
Let's do a, uh, well, what hopefully will be a final test fit. And uh, uh, this will be as if you were installing it. You just bought it new part, you took it out of the box, we're going to see if it fits. So let's see what happens. I think that's it. Yep, that's uh, ready to get turned over to the owner because he knows somebody who does paint. So uh, I think tomorrow we'll do the gas tank. For now, that's it though.